Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and for the first time, I'm gonna do a book review. Today, I'm going to review a book that my good friend Ben Schleister had recommended to me, and it is Firebringer by David Clement Davies, set in ancient Scotland. The synopsis? <clears throat> there is a prophecy among the deer. One day, a fawn will be born with the mark of an oak leaf upon his forehead. His courage will lead the deer to freedom. His strength will defeat their greatest enemy. Rannoch was born on the night his father was murdered. In a herd where hunger for power has destroyed all that is good, he must escape to survive. Hunted by stags with antlers sharpened for the kill, Rannoch begins his treacherous journey, but he will return to face the destiny that he was born for and to conquer the force that drove him away. And so, after Ben recommended this book to me, I decided to give it a read, and it's actually pretty good. I'm going to start with the story. i got to say, readers, be warned, Bambi, this ain't. Just because it's about deer doesn't mean it's going to be a light and fluffy story throughout. I mean, there are no cute and cuddly bunnies here. There are no singing birdies here. Mm -mm. This is a very dark and intense story. In fact, the only other animal fantasy story even darker than this is Watership Down. Like, without giving anything away, at the beginning of this movie... A character dies in such a horrendous way that those with faint hearts might pass out. But that doesn't subtract from the book's quality. It's still a very engaging story. I legit didn't know where the story was going. At first, at each turn, I was thinking, okay, we're going to end up doing this. Oh, no, nope, we're doing that. I like stuff that can keep me guessing, both in movies and in books. And there are a lot of subplots within this story. Like, there's a deer named Bankfoot who gets bullied by a speech impediment. And these subplots can get interesting, but they can distract from sometimes. But it never got to the point where the book was too complicated for me. No, I could, I could follow it just great. And the main villain of this story is another deer named Score. Score was an amazing villain. Anytime you read him in the pages, he shows that he is no laughing matter and that he shows no mercy to those he opposes. I mean, he mostly starts the first half of the story as a side villain working for a deer named Drail, but once Score takes center stage, you can tell that he is probably the most evil deer that you will ever come upon in fiction. And I'd have to say, with the right director and the right cast, this book would make for a really good movie. And another thing about the characters, Rannoch was also a very likable character. And I really like the relationships between his adopted mother Bracken and a few other of the deer that he grew up with. And with the action scenes in this book, a lot of which keep you on the edge of your seat, especially the climax. So overall, I'd have to give Firebringer probably an 8.5 out of 10. I mean, true, it, the subplots can distract a few times, but on the whole, this is a very enjoyable read. If you're a huge fan of Animal Fantasy, I'd say check it out. Well, that was my first book review for Firebringer. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba, out.